Hey everybody, this is AJ and this is another episode of Straight From The Tap. Ah, the Jersey Shore. The ocean, the sand, a beer in my hand. Well, you know what? I'm not allowed to have beer on the beach in Wildwood, so that's why I'm going to head over to the newest brewery in Wildwood that just opened up this year and it's called Mud Hen Brewing Company. Let's head on over. Mud Hen Brewing Company opened up in April of this year in what used to be a Harley Davidson showroom. The name Mud Hen was the nickname of a train that traveled in and out of Wildwood back in the late 1800s, and just about all their beer names paid tribute to the train and Wildwood itself. Unlike a lot of businesses in Wildwood, Mud Hen will be open year round, which is to the delight of many people, myself included. With the quality beer and delicious food that they're whipping up, it's not a surprise that they're typically packed to the gills with locals and vacationers every night of the week. They offer flights of their beer that are pre-selected if you can't make up your mind, but you can also customize your own. And after a great meal, you can grab a crowler or a growler and enjoy some Mud Hen beer at home. Thankfully, head brewer Tony Cunha was able to take some time out of his busy schedule to sit down and talk some beer with me. All right, so I'm here at Mud Hen Brewing Company here in Wildwood, New Jersey, and I'm sitting down with head brewer Tony Cunha, and we're just going to ask a couple of questions about the place. We're going to try out some of their awesome beers. So, Tony, thank you so much for sitting sure. down with me. Absolutely. So, just have a couple of questions. So, when did you guys open up here? So, we opened uh, April 13th, officially. Okay, cool. Now, are you guys open all year round, or are you just kind of like a seasonal restaurant? We are open all year, all year long. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Now, a lot of people have always asked about breweries now. Are you guys pet friendly? We are actually. We have an outside uh, beer garden-esque area okay. uh, that is pet friendly and we encourage it. Sure. Awesome. Now, and uh, last question before we get to the beer is how often do you guys have live music? Because I that patio atmosphere out there always looks so much fun. Yeah, we have it daily. Uh, okay. And on the weekends there's a DJ uh, oh, down cool. on the main floor. Uh, today actually on a Monday mm -hmm. we, have, uh, we have reggae outside tonight. Ah, nice. Yeah. Jamming on. Yeah, All right, yeah. sweet. So let's get to this beer. What do we got here? So this is our flagship flight. Okay. Um, we have, uh, you know, because of the busy summer months, uh, we decided as um, as a staff to, to provide uh, recommended flights. Okay. So the flagship being one of them, a hoppy flight being the other, and then the brewer's choice. Cool. Okay. Uh, you can always mix and match and do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. if there's beer here. We want you to drink it and try. Nice. So cool. This is just a recommendation on the bottom of the menu. Okay. So this is our. Um, our highest selling beer is our, our Mud Light Pilsner. Okay. Uh, and then we have our Holly Beach Wheat Wildwood. First was called Holly Beach. Oh, cool. Uh, so that's why I we know that. Holly Beach Wheat. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of history involved in the branding of Mud Hen, mm -hmm. it being the rail line that came down to Wildwood in 1883. Okay. Um, and so we tie that into, into some of the beer names. Oh, cool. Uh, we have our Deep Track Stout. Okay. Uh, and then we have our 1883 uh, IPA. Awesome. Cool. So mud light. Yeah. So as I've as I've talked about in the past, every brewery usually has what I call the gateway beers. And this is for, you know, your typical domestic drinkers that when they come to a brewery, here you go. But it's a gateway beer because then usually this is so good you want to try something else. So mud light, let's give it a try. Yeah, right down the middle. Nice hoppy. Not that hoppy, rather, but nice, clean, crisp, easy drinking, definitely. Yeah, we use um, Liberty Hops from the North American Northwest. Okay. Uh, it's a Holotar derivative. It's, you know, um, we try to keep it clean and fresh and, and mm -hmm. something you can enjoy. And so it, when people ask me if I have a session beer, I, I say absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the Pilsner. Especially when you're, you know, sitting on the, sitting on the pool deck of your Wildwood Motel hotel. Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. Now, Holly Beach, this is uh, a wheat beer, okay. This is our wheat beer, uh, Belgian Ardennes yeast. Uh, it also has citrus, uh, okay. orange, lemon, and uh, just some ginger as well. Okay. Mm. Nice, you're getting that little hint of ginger right on the back of the back end of that. That's really cool. Mm. And a little bit of spice um, and banana notes from the, uh, the Belgian yeast as okay. well. It's, it's a, you know, there's, okay. it seems like there's a lot going on, but it's, yeah. it's mostly all that is subtle. Yeah, it's all subtle, and it's, and it's again like the Mud Light. It's super easy drinking. Another great pool beer, yeah. <laughs> and just like I said in the opening, you're not allowed to drink on the beach in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's nice. Ah, my favorite, the dark beers. Yeah, 
So what was this called? The Deep this Tracks. Is deep Tracks stuff. Nice. Now the nice. name, uh, it gets tied in with the train tracks, the okay. Deep Tracks. The, the mud okay. head line itself used to get caught in the marsh at high tide. Okay. And the indigenous bird out there was the mud hen, and then so that rail line was actually, that's what it was named. Oh, cool. Those who were traveling on it, like, oh, you got stuck on the mud hen line. Nice. So we named Deep Tracks Stout, uh, okay. indicative of that. But also Deep Tracks are kind of, when you think musically, yeah, it's yeah. those tracks in an album mm -hmm. that aren't the most that's popular. That's initially what I had yeah, thought about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's a little nice. chocolate, some roast. Yeah, definitely um, getting that roast. That's very good. Super smooth. Try not to be overly bitter. Um, we also, we have um, nitro online okay. as well. And that was gonna be my next question, <clears throat> if you have nitro. Yeah, so what I like to do is I'll take it off of fermentation. We have a, a device called a cellar stream that allows okay. me to um, take the beer from fermentation, put it in an, an uncarbonated or an unpressurized keg. Okay. Uh, flat beer that gets pushed uh, through the line, injected with nitrogen. So what I can do mm. with some of the brands, like the, the dark beers that we okay. rotate, uh, put that on nitro, nitro either before yeah, yeah. I even tap it, okay. or running parallel. Oh, and then cool. it allows to, to give a new brand in a sense, but also use the same batch of beer. And yeah. so we call it primary cut, which means it's the first cut of that batch. Okay. It's the first chance to try it. Nice. Yeah. That's it. You learn something new every day. <laughs> and this brewery stuff, man, every time I think about, you know, one day further down the line opening up a brewery, I learn all this new stuff and I forget about it. <laughs> hmm. ah, stouts. Can't go wrong with that, man. Now, last but not least, this is the flagship IPA, right? The yes. 1883? 1883. Now, yeah. what was the, what does 1883 have to do with the rail line again? Is that? That was the year that it was introduced. Okay, when it was introduced. Yeah. All right. Down here on the island. So IPAs, got to love some good hops. Yeah. Hops and dark beers, man. That's obviously opposites, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, Cascade, Crystal, and Simcoe. Okay. Nice little bit of grapefruit in there. A little bit of pine too, it's pretty cool. Mm. Not that bitter, nice hot flavors. That's awesome, man. Cool, thanks. But Tony, thank you so much for sure, sitting man. down from uh, sitting down with me. Yeah. And you know what? I, I love it here, the food's awesome. And just the atmosphere alone, I mean, it's wide open spaces, you got the awesome outdoor patio. Good luck, man. I mean, the middle of the summer, you guys are probably hopping all the time. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, Good luck with everything. Thanks, AJ. Thanks Appreciate so much. That. Yeah, thanks for your time. Cool. All right, that's it for me here at Mud Hen Brewing Company. If you're down the shore at any point this summer or even in the off season, make sure you put Mud Hen Brewing Company in Wildwood, New Jersey on your must visit list because this place is awesome. So, in the words of Mud Hen Brewing Company, enjoy the journey. And I'm going to sign off saying happy drinking, my friends, and cheers. I will see you next time.